All right, I'm going to show you how to transcode Iconoscope's ACAM D2 footage using DaVinci Resolve Lite, because it's free. Click Admin. I'm going to select my default project. And this is the first room it's going to bring me to. If you look down here, you have your five different rooms. So the first thing I want to do is import my footage. So normally, if you had an external drive here, it would show up. But right now, I just have my footage on my desktop. So I'm going to bring it in that way. Here's my footage. It's all within this folder that represents the card I transferred to my desktop. So I'm going to click Add Folder and Subfolder into Media Pool. I only have one clip in here, but if you had multiple clips, it would bring them all into this media pool down here. So I'm just going to click on this. I can scrub through it to make sure it's all there. That's great. Now, you have these little black bars on the side, and that's because you have a 2048 by 1092 image, but we're trying to output to 1920 by 1080. It shrinks down that whole image sensor size, and we don't want that. So we're going to go into our settings. We're going to image scaling. And we're just going to click on center crop with no resizing, apply. And then once we go into our color room, we can see that those bars are non-existent. All right, I'm not going to color correct this. If you wanted to, you could. Um, you have a few different color correct options. You know, you have your spin wheels here, crush down the darks. But they already look pretty good because Iconoscope sort of adjusted their black levels in the metadata. And that got rid of this problem that the camera used to have where it brought in the footage with a bunch of magenta in the darks. You don't really get that anymore. You still get a little magenta sometimes. Um, but this looks good enough for me for now. These are a few different options you can use to color correct. This camera represents the metadata if you want to play with it. So if I thought this was too dark or too light, I could go to clip, I could dump the exposure up or down. And this is because we're working with DNG files or digital negative. All right, so let's say I color corrected all my clips. I'm ready to make dailies that I can start editing with. I'm going to go into deliver. And I want to make ProRes HQs. So the first thing I'm going to do is select render to QuickTime. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to pick the QuickTime Apple ProRes 422 HQ codec, but as you can see, there's a bunch of different options here. I want to set my frame rate to 2398 or 76, because that's the standard. Make sure I'm rendering my timeline as individual source clips, not a single clip. That's a weird thing to have as a default. Make sure you select that. And I'm just going to output it to the same directory as where my footage is, which is my desktop. And I'm going to create a new folder within that directory <laughs> print desktop. So I'm just going to call it ACAM000 ProRes HQ. Okay. And then I'm going to do use source file name. And it's going to give it a name based on the frames in the file because Iconoscope didn't really think out their uh, labeling system. Hopefully they're going to fix that. And I'm just going to click use commercial workflow because that's what they tell you to do and add job. So now I've got my job added. If I had multiple clips in here, what I would do is I would set an endpoint at the first clip, which is this clip you see here. So I'm going to click on that and then just hit I. And then I want it to end here too, so I'll click on this clip, which is my last clip also, and just hit O for out. And now I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to click off this in case I had multiple jobs I wanted to render, and hit start render. And I have a particularly older model MacBook Pro, so this is only going at 6 frames per second. You have the new Retina computer, it goes at like 18 frames per second. Around. Three times the speed of this piece of shit. Alright, cool, and it's done, because that was a short clip. So I'm going to quit out of this, save my project. ACAM D2 test. Now, here's my source footage, here's my output footage, so I'm going to double click this, and there's my Apple ProRes HQ QuickTime. Open it up, watch it down, and that is how you transcode footage using DaVinci Resolve.